We have headed north, up into Maine. Ooh. Ooh. I can't lose this fish. Oh, that's my nice one. What is up guys and welcome to another episode of Connecticut Angler. And if there's anything unique about this episode, it's that we're not in Connecticut. That's right folks. We have headed north, way north, up into Maine, and here we are. Beautiful little pond, sand pond, up in Chesterfield, Maine. It is an absolutely beautiful morning. I've been here a couple days now. I've already fished this pond a little bit. I have never once so far seen a morning this beautiful with just this amazing mist hanging over the water. But I'll tell you what, it just looks incredible right now. I'm going to be fishing with a uh, soft plastic on the spinning rod and a popper on my eight weight fly rod. We're gonna see if we can get some of these smallies out here. Now, like I said, I've been fishing here a couple days so far. I've barely exceeded the one pound mark on smallies. I know they must get bigger in here, but I just cannot seem to locate the big ones. So I think the goal for this trip is just to try to change that, to get something in at least the two pound range. I would like to get bigger than that, but we're gonna see what we could do. I'm not gonna get too ambitious in my goals here, but enough talking. Let me get the canoe ready here, and let's get out there. Oh, look at that. There's a couple loons out there. Just beautiful. Now, the area that I'm going over right now is a pretty shallow cove. I've had some luck getting smallies with top water right from the dock there but only about 30 minutes before dusk. I can already tell that the breeze we have going here is gonna make this kind of challenging. Not in terms of fishing, but just in terms of trying to uh, maneuver this kayak in such a way that I'm not missing fish on account of trying to get a position properly. Yeah, the moment I start paddling, it starts to just nose whatever direction I don't want it to go. Oh, we missed him. We gonna get him to bite again? God, he's like 15 feet in front of me. Let's see if we can get another take around here. Got him. Not a big fish. A little, oh, he threw me. That was a little tiny smallie came right at me when I set the hook on him. He was able to shake it. All right, guys, well, hooked a small mouth, a really small, small mouth. He managed to throw me before I could get him in. And so far, no luck on the plastic lizard either. Let's keep on moving and see if we can change our luck a little bit. Got him. All right, there we go. That's a decent fish. Yeah, okay, okay. Looks like a smallie. He's gonna pull me into my spot over here. Ooh. He won't let him to get him up here. All right, guys, here we go. Oh no. 
Well, I kind of deep hooked this guy. We're just gonna cut him free here. Pull out this plastic so it's not dangling in his mouth. Oh yeah, that's too bad, guys. You never like to see that. Well, fish can be harvested from this lake. And quite frankly, I think this fish is definitely a goner. So we're gonna keep him. You know, I would have had every intention of letting a fish like that go. Uh, and I have let fish like that go, plenty of them on this trip so far, but I think you could take one look at the amount of blood coming out of the fish and know that there was no way it was gonna make it. So at the very least, we're gonna make use of him. We'll eat him, but uh, let's keep on going and see what else we can do because that was actually not a bad smallie. I don't know, that's what, like maybe a pound, pound and a quarter? So it's a decent fish. I mean, it's okay. Uh, but let me get another plastic lizard tied on here and let's see what we can do. Swirl right behind it. Whatever. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Well. Well, that's a way to let the fish know you're here. Well guys, I'll tell you what, I'm really striking out here. I mean, I've missed quite a few hits on the, uh, on the popper fly up to this point. I have only myself to blame for that, but you know, not many takes on that lizard. We got that one really early on and that has just been it. Despite uh, what looks like really great spots, I can only hope that my luck changes. As you can see, looking around here, the uh, mist has lifted. So we got some pretty clear conditions right now. It's pretty sunny. Not really certain how this is gonna change the fish's behavior. It's still very early in the morning. But uh, I'm not gonna waste time talking. Let's just get back to it. Got him. Ah, it's a little tiny fish. <laughs> he threw it again. He's, you know, the little tiny fish, like I can't even keep tension on the, on the line when they're that small, so. Got him. Oh, no. I had him hooked for about two seconds and he wiggled right off. Got him, got him. All right, nice fish, nice fish. Oh, I haven't seen him yet. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish, guys. Nice fish. Oh. Holy shit, guys, that had to be a good three pound fish. Oh no, I can't believe I lost him. Oh no, heartbreaking. That was a big fish. that? Is it gonna go for it again? That fish hit like a freight train and then even after I pulled my fly away from it, it hit again like six feet away from my fly.
There's some nice structure over here. Though I've had very little luck at any fish off these down trees, surprisingly. Got him. That's a nice fish. I think it is. Oh, no, it's a smaller fish. Ooh, it's hard to say. It could be a nice fish. Ooh, that could be a really nice fish. I'm not gonna try to take him away. I gotta get away from the shore here. He's gonna pull me in. That could be a nice fish, guys. That could be a nice fish. He's pulling me out of my lake here. I think it's a smallie. Nice smolly, nice smolly. Okay. All right, nice fish. Nice fish. Beautiful smolly. Attack that popper frog, huh? Put up one hell of a fight too. Not a huge bass. Much larger fish in here. But a decent fish. Let's see if we can get anything else. All right, guys, I'm very quickly losing my light. I don't have a whole lot of time, but I want to get up into this calm cove over here and take a couple casts before I start to head back. It definitely seems like the wind isn't hitting that cove, so I should be a little bit better off as far as being able to navigate and hold the canoe at position. So I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that we get into that nice fish when we get up over into that cove but uh i'm not gonna waste any more time talking let's get over there Did you see that? <laughs> I was navigating the canoe and I'm just letting my popper sit out there. Literally not even moving it. I mean, it was just probably moving along with the canoe. And some fish came up and smashed it. I don't think it was a very large fish. I saw it literally jump out of the water trying to get that popper. Damn, when these fish turn on in the evening, they turn on, let me tell you. That's a nice fish, guys. That's a nice fish. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Good Lord. Through the hook, guys. What's up guys? Welcome to another morning out in the lake. Looking beautiful out there. Got some mist hanging out over the water. We're only about, I want to say 10, 15 minutes after sunrise right now. Early enough that the sun hasn't even come over the trees yet. Since I have been here on this lake, I have been fishing a lot. 
most of the fishing I've done hasn't even actually been on video. You haven't seen it. You know, whether it was picking off a little bluegill in the shadows and a tiny size 20 uh, parachute atoms, or coming out to the dock here, tossing topwater lures uh, at night just as it got dark, get some crazy hits out here, even catching some smallmouth over here in the shallows on uh, little Griffiths nests. And, uh, you know, I've gotten a lot of fish. I can't complain about quantity. I've caught tons of fish, pretty much all smallmouth bass. But the two biggest fish that I've hooked have managed to throw me. And uh, I'm starting to worry that this is going to be one of those scenarios where the big fish of the trip ends up being a story about the fish that got away. I think it was what, like two days ago, I hooked up with that bass that had to push three pounds, maybe even four pounds, uh, and it threw me the first time it jumped. Last night, I hooked a smallie that had to have gone at least two pounds, which was really the, the mark I was aiming for for a decent sized fish. Uh, and that one threw me at the boat. So there's a couple things I've learned. Number one, I'm if I hook something nice out here this morning, I'm gonna do whatever I can to avoid having it jump. If that means going a little easier on it, playing it a little more gently, that's fine, that's what I'm gonna do. And two, if I have to boat flip the fish, I'm gonna boat flip the fish. I mean, it is what it is. I'm, I'm getting kinda of tired of, of, of losing fish uh, at the boat, so those are the kind of the two strategies I'm adopting here. But guys, Enough talking. Let's get out there and let's get a nice size smallie. We gotta make this happen before we leave Maine. All right, there's a nice weed line. Definitely caught fish at this weed line before. Nice fish. All right. Not a huge fish, but a nice way to start the morning off. Just don't want him to pull me in my spot, damn it. Right. Once again, I'm gonna use a strategy where I, I wanna try to fight him without letting him uh, jump too much because that's when I've been losing these fish. guys, well, I mean, not a bad way to start off the day. Aggressive little smallie, smacked at that frog. Let's get him back in the water, try to catch his daddy. Now, this is a good enough spot that I'm gonna backtrack and pick up at the same point that we caught that fish. It's a big submerged log right over there. Go to pick it up, pull it away from him. All right, guys. Well, admittedly, sort of a slow start. I think I'm going to skip some of this stuff here and head on over to the rocky shore over there uh, because that area just looks so juicy. I do have limited time, I and mean, I can't be out here all day. So uh, I think I'm going to hedge my bets on the rocky shoreline over there. Place the battery. We'll get right back to it. a little fish. I could tell by the fact that I just <laughs> damn near lifted him out of the water when I set the hook. Got him. Oh, that's, a, that's a decent fish. Not a huge fish, but decent. I probably said I need a confidence boost. Most fish does that. This fish does it. Ooh. Once again, try to do a spinning rod bath set on that fish. 
Tell you what, guys, I'm missing fish because of that. This is actually a, a boulder field over here. It's like a submerged boulder field. I think uh, instead of just paddling directly over it, I'm going to put on a subsurface streamer. Let's see if I can get the bass to bite on that. That should be interesting. Put on this closer. The chartreuse closer. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Damn. Of course the fish hits. Oh, I'm trying to navigate the damn canoe. Hey, I managed to keep him. <laughs> A little smally. I'm uh, coming up on the last shady side of the lake right now. The sun hasn't really come up above the trees from this particular standpoint. And this entire bank is still shadowy, so it's sort of still in that early morning pre-dawn mode to some extent. Let's see what we could do, guys. We're kind of on the last side of the lake here too. Our cabin is just down that way. So let's get to it. my nice fish. I can't lose this fish. Oh, that's my nice one. That's my nice one. This is a quality fish, guys. That's a quality fish. Oh, my lord. Yes, that's the bass I've been after, guys. Oh. Oh, nice fish. Oh, my lord. Oh, I don't want him to jump too much. So I've lost all of my nice fish. I'm not gonna let that happen this time. I got him, guys. Look at that fish. Look at that smallie. Holy mackerel. Well, guys, I'll tell you what. That was the bass I was after. That's gotta go at least two, maybe two and a half. Just a fine smallmouth bass. Really such a privilege to catch up here in San Pon, Maine. Well guys, that was the quality of fish that I have been chasing for days here up on San Pond. And you know, I've hooked into some nice fish and I've lost them all. I've lost them all on jumps, I've lost them at the boat. And uh, I'll tell you what, <laughs> to hook up with that fish, I mean literally, the next dock is mine. I, I thought this was pretty much the end. Maybe I'd catch a, another smallie of eight, 10 inches, call it a morning. And uh, that was gonna be that. And to hook up with that fish within a stone's throw of my own dock after a morning of following the perimeter of this entire pond. <sighs> Talk about gratifying. That was the fish I've wanted. It's the fish I've been after. Finally got it. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed smallie fishing here on Sand Pond in Chesterville, Maine. Now that I've gotten that nice fish, I feel like I've checked that box off. Without further ado, I'm thinking it's time for breakfast. It is about 8.30 right now, so I'm about to head back to my dock over there for some cheese grits. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Make sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you like what I'm doing out here. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>
Oh, good. I got him right in the roof of the mouth. All right, guys. Well, those are that's my wife and all three of my daughters down in the dock calling me back. Uh, I'm glad I didn't head back when I did because we got another chunker out of there, but who would have thought that within a stone's throw of my dock, I'd get my two biggest small mouth of the entire trip. This has been a hell of a morning, guys, but uh, I'm gonna head back over there now and get some breakfast, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys later.